Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a great week and thank you very much for coming and joining us for this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be using this gnarly piece of wood I've got here. It's a piece of spalt wood. Don't know what wood it is. It's been chucked under my bench for a couple of years now and I'm sick and tired of keep moving it from one place to the next so I want to get rid of it. The reason I haven't done anything with it really is because I don't know what to do with it. It's a funny shape. Um, it's not the best looking bit of wood. It's quite a bit of worm in it, but I don't know what it's going to be like in the middle. So what I want to do is I want to rough it down. If it's good inside, then I'll turn a vase or something out of it, something nice. But other than that, I don't know. So let's go over to the lathe, have a look at it. Like I say, it's the ugliest piece of wood I've ever seen. Um, get it on the lathe and rough it out and see what we've got. And then we'll go from there. So I'll meet you guys over at the lathe. So this is it. N nasty looking old piece. As you can see, absolutely full of worm through there bit there but it's not too bad in this section here i was going to run it through the bandsaw but my mansaw won't quite reach that depth and we've got a bit of a rotten bit in there um but i can if we need to fill that with resin and put some resin in there so i'm not 100 percent sure how this is going to go a few cracks in the bottom there but i don't want to throw away because it's too nice to throw away um especially with the pattern in it and i'm intrigued to see what's inside it so i want to rough it down it's going to take a little bit of roughing down, but a lot of this is just going to go to dust, I think, once we start turning, because as you can see, it's quite soft. So, let's get it between centers and see what we can do with it and see what comes out of it. If worse come to worse, we'll burn it. But we tried our best. So, let's get it between centers. So, we'll find our centers. So, from corner, rough corner to corner, because obviously there ain't no corner. So, just roughly through the middle. And then we'll uh, see what we get. Like I say, this bit here doesn't look too bad. Actually, that bit there doesn't look too bad. So perhaps we should cut that through there. Might be a better idea. But I'll have to break out the chainsaw to do that because it won't go through my bandsaw. Actually, I'm going to go up and try and cut that down. Get rid of this manky bit first. Then we can actually use because that bit there is quite a good bit of wood so uh, i'll be back when i get rid of this bit so for some reason when i came back and i watched the video footage back i realized there was no sound i don't know why because uh obviously later on in the video the sound comes back but other than that i don't know anyway we uh, went off i ended up cutting that pucky bit off i cut off a handsaw in the end because it was so soft uh, it was quite easy to uh, cut off so we got rid of that we're then going to come back and find our centers hopefully i'm hoping at this point that the actual bit of wood is pretty good inside but when i found as we find out further into the video i was very um misled let's put it that way um but at the end of the day it's all practice it's all time and lame it's all tool time so it always improves our technique improves our technique should i say so we are just sent it off we're now going to put our stub center in our chuck and then we're going to bring up the tail stock to bring it between centers to get it um rough round and then uh, we'll see what it's actually like once it's been turned rough round piece between centers now we're ready to get it rough turned PPE make sure you always wear your PPE minimum of safety glasses when turned normal timber because this is spalted I'm going to be wearing a respirator because those spores which is part of the spalt and I'm part of mold so what they can do if they get in your lungs they can cause issues in your lungs so you always need to make sure you wear a decent respirator or at least a power shield or a power respirator shield um, for turn and spot with timber i use the trend air shield this is what i normally use and it's a good system because it's got filters built into it and it also gives you a nice fresh air over your face all the time and it's got an impact shield as well so always make sure you wear the correct ppe for the job you're doing now i'm going to start turning that rough around before i did i turn the speed right down on the lathe 
and uh, started it up I didn't want this piece because it was not the best quality I wanted to make sure it didn't come flying off the lathe so I made sure I stood to one side when I pressed the start button roughing it off with an inch roughing gouge from record power gonna take this down to rough round um, as you can see there's no real nice chippings coming off of it it's more like bits and breaking out at this point I'm thinking to myself uh, this may not go as far as getting it rough round but we'll plow on and see what happens and uh, hope for the best but like I say it's all trial and error with sometimes and uh, we'll see what this piece of wood can offer us You can see here just how real pucky this piece of wood is. Um, I didn't want to throw it away because it's such a pretty bit of wood. I want to try and get something out of it. So what I decided to do was try and recover it by absolutely soaking it in um, thin super glue or super thin super glue. Uh, hopefully that the, was going to penetrate into the wood and give me enough or to harden it enough just so I could get a good finish on it and then obviously then turn the middle out of it. So in the end I used nearly two, well actually I used two whole tubs of uh, super thin super glue on this as you can see here it's just soaking up like a sponge that just proves how soft it is um, had the extraction on make sure the fumes went down the extraction because obviously you don't want to be breathing all that nasty toxic vapors in and I didn't put any activator on this till the end of that I think where you can see it bubbling up is where there's a little bit of moisture in the timber so soaking this in super glue we're going to get it absolutely coked in it and we're going to leave it to dry and then we'll come back once the super glue has had a chance to harden off and dry because obviously you don't want to be spinning up with the super glue wet because it's going to absolutely everywhere. This has had about half an hour now to dry off. So we soaked it in um, CA glue, thin, soaked in, sprayed with activator, and hopefully it's all cured off now. So now it's gone obviously hard. But we'll see how deep the super glue's penetrated in. Hopefully it's gone in quite a way, but we'll turn a shape and see what we can get out of it. Hopefully I'd like to get a vase out of it if I can, but we'll see what happens. Might have to go past this because obviously we've got that big chunky bit in there but to be honest that's big enough for a vase I think so um, I'm going to turn this down and see how it goes before I go any further
So I found after turning down the show on the super glue didn't penetrate as far as I expected it to. So what I did is I gave it another coat, another good soak in the super glue on my second tube um, and left it. This was, I wasn't going to turn it any lower than this. So this was going to be the final coat. As you can see, still got those nasty fumes coming off there. So still have to make sure the ventilation or extraction was going. And uh, we left it to dry and see what we came out with this one. After leaving it for another half hour or so, we decided to carry on with it. So here I am just putting a part and tool down the inside really just to get just to create a little bit of a shoulder on the inside. At this point I wasn't 100 percent sure whether I was carrying on with it or whether I was gonna part it off or what I was gonna do with it to be perfectly honest. So I thought if I put a little bit of a recess in there I can sort of put something in there and to finish it off, which was my plan. So I'm just using the spindle gouge to get in there and just finish that off and just round off that top edge before we move on to given the actual finish on the uh, on the piece gone as far as I'm going to go with this bit um, I'm I really want to finish off but the reason I'm not going to finish it off is because the inside is so soft like this bottom bit here you can see this bottom bit is so soft and I know what's going to happen as soon as I start to hollow it out it's just going to explode on me and I don't want to do that I'd rather keep it as a piece like this for now knowing that I tried my best um, I've put nearly two tubes of fine super glue on this to try and soak into it and um, get it to go hard um, but as soon as you touch it with a gouge it's still breaking bits out because the lower levels where it's not soaked into it are so soft so you know what I mean it is what it is I said from the start that we may or may not get a project out of it but as you can see it's not all win-win sometimes you get projects what's a fail well it's not a fail because we've practiced a new technique of doing a CA coat um, it's a stunning piece, well, absolutely stunning piece of wood. So it's a damn shame that it's, um, it is what it is, um, because I would have loved to be able to get a vase out of this. But I am going to, one thing I'm going to do is I've got some Ron Seal wet rot treatment. Um, I've used it before on some pucky wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gradually keep pouring it in the top here and soak it. And hopefully that'll soak through and harden up a little bit. And then hopefully in a few weeks or months, we might be able to actually finish telling it. But for now, as far as I'm going to go, because I just don't want it to explode in my face and ruin it. Because at the moment, if I cut it off there and clean the bottom up, it is a beautiful looking piece. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, guys, thanks for kind of joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, it's not a finished project, but you can't win them all. Um, 
So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But to me, I've not lost because that is absolutely stunning. I'll get some pictures. I'll clean the top up, get some pictures of it, stick it up at the end of the video as always. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Anyway, guys, take care. Speak to you soon and bye for now.